Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and I've been recently doing these videos so like my worst five defeats, my top five defeats, all these different sorts of things and people are saying we want more of these and I think this one's something I've really got to go on. Now people who watch my live streams, follow me on social media, on Twitter will probably know that I happened to beat Gary Anderson recently at the Summer Series with 170 finish for the match. Now the thing about this is, is... Gary has just today said he's not going to the Autumn Series, so I'm not going to be able to repeat that feat. However, I think it's something I'd like to address and something I'd like to go over. Now, at the Summer Series, I played Gary Anderson on the Wednesday, and I, I just beat Mensa Suljevic in the first round, so I went on the live stream first round against Howard Leitinger, and I won that one. Um, then I played Mensa Suljevic, and I won that one. Then played Gary Anderson in the board final, and I missed three match darts to beat Gary Anderson. Painful feat ended up playing him on the last day. Now, this moment made my Twitter explode. It wasn't just that. We also had Jack, the darts referee. He was live at the time. And you can see in a second the reaction in he's that He's left the 170, Jack. so he's got himself an outside chance. If Gary misses, if Gary doesn't miss, it's irrelevant. Because he only, right, this is it, 170. This is the shot. The 59 wasn't a bad shot. He needed to guarantee himself a, himself a go. <gasps> He's done it! He just pinged out 170. He's done it. No way did he hit that. I told you. I told you the 59 was a good shot. I said he needs at least 59. I told you. All he needs is a all he needs in that in that situation, all he needs is a go at it. It does not matter does not matter what the shot is, he just needs a go. I told you. I bloody told you. The game was really, really good. I'll put the stats down the side here and you can have a look at um, the game and it was one with a 170 now the thing I want to speak about the most is the reaction how do you react when you've just turned around a painful defeat from the other day what's the reaction look like obviously in a um, a bubble environment so no contact environment what does that look like well first of all I sort of just double fist pumped without really like a big outlay of emotion because if you watch my video on the pro tour we can't quite cheer because it puts off the other boards so i sort of had a quiet double fist pump to start with but then came the interesting bit and the bit that you'll know if you come into the live streams i turned around and gary goes well played matt great shot 170 to win the match brilliant shot i said cheers gary can I have your flights? And, I, and as I'm doing that, I'm taking the flights out of his dart because the missus collects flights and she ain't got any Gary Anderson ones and I thought it'd be a good one. So I'm, I'm stood there taking the flights out of his darts and he's looking at me while I'm doing it. And he goes, do you just want the darts? Because it, it was about a couple of weeks outside the match plays. I'm going to get some new darts for the world match play. He goes, just have the darts. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'll take the flights. Then he offers it again. He goes, are you sure? I says, no, no, I'm sure. He puts them in his case. And I go to my case. I'm putting the flights in there. I'm like, ha, 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 what a great win that was. I'm putting his flights in the case. And then I see him just get to the walkway and he's walking back out again. And I'm like, that was a really stupid decision. Why didn't I take his darts? And as he's walking away, I'm just like, that, that's possibly the stupid decision I've ever made. Well... Until I then got home and said to the missus, hey, guess what? I could have got Gary Anderson's darts. So we got the flights. We missed out on the darts. That's how you react to a big win, guys. All this running around the stage stuff. No, take their equipment off them. That's how it's done. I'll have a bit of that. I'll have a bit of that. If you do want some more stories, guys, let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll happily share some more stories. I love sharing these. If you guys like seeing them, then it's a good combination and a good little mix we've got there. I like sharing them. You like hearing them. If you've heard this story already, tough. Because I'm probably going to say it multiple more times. It's one of my favourite stories. Certainly one of my favourite story of 2020 so far. Other than maybe the dance-off with Dimitri Vandenberg at the UK Open. If 
you're new around here, guys, or you haven't already done so, do hit that subscribe button, join the Edgar Nation, stay up to date with all your latest Edgar TV. We'll see you tomorrow for some darts. Edgar TV. What about you guys? Would you have took the darts if you'd just beat a two-time PDC world champion, one of the best five players that's ever lived? Would you have took his darts after taking that victory, or would you have played the modest card like I did and uh, just chose the flights? I'm not saying that's modest, actually. I took his equipment.